I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, time for a local beer review going to Los Angeles. Um, first beer I've had, and obviously first beer I've reviewed from them. Uh, this is from Mumford Brewing. This is Mind Clouder Double IPA. Um, big thanks to my man Ben for sending this one. Uh, I believe these guys are brewing in the New England style, which, by the way, is anyone not brewing in the New England style these days? Are we gonna, <laughs> I mentioned it, uh, I can't remember what review it was, but it's a thing now, like everyone's doing this. Are we gonna get tired of these beers? I'm not sure, but um, I remember when I first started reviewing Monkish beers, people were saying, hey, you should check out Mumford beers. Um, and I think Mumford brewed a beer um, when, um, when Five from Tribe Called Quest passed away, I think they brewed Buggin' Out, and that's, I think that was their first kind of New England style beer, and everyone started talking about them to me, like on Instagram and in comments and stuff. And then I think this was one of their first can, canning runs that they did. I don't know, I might be wrong about that. I don't, I don't follow them too closely, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, but this was released October 22nd, so we're like right about three weeks old. Um, it says on the can, which is cool, Columbus, Citra, Mosaic, and Simcoe. So this should be pretty West Coast, but I think it's brewed in a hazy style. 9% um, double IPA. So it'll be interesting to see <laughs> what this tastes like. There's no date on these cans, which makes me think this was kind of their, one of their first runs. And I don't know how often, I know they just did another, they just canned another beer called Unpresidential, which I also got from Ben, which I will be reviewing uh, really soon. But yeah, I think this was one of, it might, it might've been the first um, cans that they did. So if you guys know, Leave a comment and let us know. And yeah, it's hazy. <laughs> it's pretty dark though. Really dark actually. Crazy, that almost looks like homebrew or some homebrews that I've had. Yeah, it's, wow, it's super like, that's that turkey gravy we talk about. <laughs> uh, almost a finger of, it's like an off-white like eggshell head. Head is dissipating pretty quickly but it's just super tight bubbles. But yeah, it is murky, it's turbid as fuck. It's like that dark brown, I, I mean, I don't even know. You can't say it looks like any juice because there's not juice that really looks like that unless you're mixing stuff as a, you know, as a mixer. It, <laughs> like if you're having like rum and orange juice, maybe it would look like that, like uh, Bacardi dark and orange juice, <laughs> something like that. But yeah, 9% when we swirl it, uh, there's alcohol legs everywhere and there's some glass lacing. So yeah, uh, interesting. I mean, it's hazy for sure. You can't see anything through that, so. 9%, this could be good, this could be bad, it could be disastrous. Let's go ahead and shove our nose in it and see what she smells like. No, I've, it's tropical fruity. Um, there is a sweet, a, I don't want to say it's big and malty, but there's a sweet malty backbone to this. Does it, I don't think it's going to say what malts I use. It's not caramely, but it's got that sweet, uh, this is hilarious. The beer is cloudy or hazy in appearance, and then it says hashtag haze for days. Fuck. That's a thing, too. We've been saying that forever. Are people watching videos? Maybe. I doubt it. We can't give ourselves credit like that. But yeah, it's, I mean, it, it's pineapples, and then it's oranges, grapefruits, sweet citrus. But there is, there's like a big, malty backbone to this. It's like crackery, bread, bready, um, sweet. It, I guess it is almost caramely. I will say 9%, you're not smelling booze, which is scary as fuck. This has been sitting out for about 10, 15 minutes too, so I don't think you're gonna smell booze as it gets like up to room temperature. But yeah, not it's not an explosively like aromatic nose, but it smells plenty good. So Ben, thank you, sir. Cheers. That is a big, rich, full mouthfeel. It's got, it's a tad sweet on the finish. So, much like the nose wasn't explosive and like really, really aromatic, this is plenty flavorful, but it's not exploding. Um, this definitely reminds me of like an old school West Coast IPA that's brewed in a hazy fashion, if that makes sense. Tons of orange, grapefruit, um, it's dank, it's resinous, it's earthy. It's really earthy. Um, I always say like dirty is the wrong word, but it tastes dirty. It tastes, I don't know what the word is for that. I think you guys would know. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. 
There is. It's that sweet. There's a sweet malt backbone. There's a very, very strong malt, uh, malt backbone um, that's kind of balancing out the citrus fruits. Um, it's weird because I've had so many killer beers lately. And it's not that this beer is not good. It's just this kind of falls short to the other ones that I've had as of late. Um, it's good. It's just it's just okay. I was expect I was I don't know I was expecting a lot out of this. Um, I just heard it was really really good. But when you're drinking, you know the best monkish beers and Treehouse and Trillium and other half beers that I've been having lately, um, it just it's not it's not to that level. It's good though, and it's nine percent. I mean, you you would never know this was nine percent. This is not drink like like a nine percent beer, which is good. I don't want to say I don't want to say the beer is boring because that sounds like a disrespectful thing to say. But this is just kind of for me, it's just like a take it or leave it kind of beer. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this beer. It's not bad. I just I was expecting it to be fucking amazing because everyone's been talking about how good Mumford is. It's a solid beer. It's just is forgettable the right word? Maybe I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I like. I, I like the citrus that's in it. Um, it's just, it's a tad malty for me, for my preference. But I know it's a West Coast brewed beer at heart. So, I mean, that's West Coast beers are, they're malt driven, especially like 9%. Like you drink a stone beer, enjoy by very malt driven. And that's kind of how this is. It just kind of mixes that juicy aspect into it with the citrus fruits. Um, I just wish there was more, I don't know. I wish it popped more. I wish it was more flavorful. I wish. Um, like there's, it said Simcoe, right? Mosaic and Simcoe. Um, I wish there was more of like that blueberry note from the Mosaic and I wish the Simcoe made it a little more green, a little more dank. Um, I just want more flavors in what I'm tasting. I just feel like I'm kind of tasting like grapefruit orange a little bit and then you're just getting those sweet kind of malts. So, um, I mean, I'm super stoked that I got to check this out. I mean, when someone sends a beer and it's not my favorite, it's not their fault. You didn't brew the beer. So I, I don't want Ben to be upset that this isn't like my favorite beer because it's not like, dude, it's not your fault. You didn't make this beer. Um, and I think Mumford, this is a good, I mean, it's a good beer. It's just nothing that I'm probably, I probably won't. It's not one of those like memorable beers. So um, it's like a B plus for me. I don't know, like 87, 88, somewhere in there. It might be a bad can. I don't know. It, everyone who's had this beer will leave comments and tell me I'm crazy or say maybe I have an off can, I don't know, we'll see, but um, yeah, it's just kind of one of those, I don't know, I wish there was more to it. It's not that it's one note, it's just not, I don't know, it is what it is. You win some, you lose some, this one just wasn't, I mean, I've been drinking ridiculously good beer, so maybe in fairness, it's not fair to this beer, who knows, but um, that's Mumford Mind Clouder. If you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think, Ben, thank you so much for sharing this one. Um, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news To all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe